Oh yeah. How's that tea smart video coming on, Dave? Yeah, Gary, just get in there, mate. Nearly done. So in this day and age where most of us have multiple devices that we're using day in, day out, and especially with people now working from home more regularly than we ever have done before, me in particular, and I know many people around me, have very cluttered desks. And the problem being, for me personally, I have my video editing machine, I have my work PC, and I have my gaming PC all on my desk at the same time, making it very cluttered and a real mess to look at. It's also a real pain either switching the monitor inputs if you've got multiple monitor inputs, or having to unplug everything and plug it into a different machine. This really does drive me insane. With the advent of USB-C and Thunderbolt, that has improved massively. Nowadays, you can plug one USB-C cable into a device and it will get all of your ports and display from that one cable. And that has helped enormously, especially for me. But I still need to have multiple devices on my desk. So our friends over at T-Spark reached out to us and asked us if we'd like to try the USB-C KVM. So this little switch here is a 4K 60 Hertz USB-C KVM switch. Now what that basically means is, this little box can take up to three USB-C devices and output it to one screen and keyboard and mouse so that you can seamlessly switch between them with either a touch of the button or a keyboard hotkey or even the included remote control, making it incredibly convenient and really freeing up the clutter from your desk. So here we are, this is the KVM box. You can see at the front, it's quite nice. It lights up to show you which devices are active. So if you've only got two things plugged into it, you only have two lights on there and also which one you've currently got selected. You've got a select button, so one press of that and you can switch between your devices. And we also have a mouse sensitivity that you can use here, but to be fair, you'll probably mostly be using the mouse sensitivity within your software. And then lastly, we've just got the power switch on here. So let's take a quick look at the ports at the rear. This is the important bit. So this is really quite straightforward, especially as it's quite simple with only USB-C cables going into the devices. You can see we've got USB 1, 2 and 3 going into this device. Now you may notice there's a little power symbol on the port one. Only port one is powered. So if you plug any of your laptops or iPads or devices into that port one, it will use the power delivery and charge your device at the same time. With the two and three, you can also need to provide power to that device. So maybe it's a, a heavy duty workstation laptop that has USB-C but will still need its own power supply. You want to plug those into two or three. And that's it for your inputs. We also have here, you'll see a little power adapter sign for USB-C power adapter. This is the power adapter that will supply the power delivery to your laptop. So you'll plug your old USB-C power adapter that came with the laptop directly into here. Now move over to the outputs. And then you'll see we have three USB 2 ports. So you put your keyboard and mouse in here and then you've got a spare USB 2. In my case, I'm going to be plugging in my wireless headset into here so I can then quickly switch it between my devices, which would be so handy but you do also notice have a, a headphone or speaker output here as well. So you can plug in a pair of speakers into this device and share that between your three computers. And then lastly, for the outputs, we've got the HDMI port. Now this is your HDMI 2, so it'll give you 4K 60 Hertz to your display. And then lastly, we do have our DC input just to provide power to the KVM switch itself. So very straightforward. Now T-Smart do provide most of the cables you're going to need. We get three USB-C cables, so those will plug into the KVM to your laptop. We get our remote control and we get our DC power. So all you're going to need to provide is your own HDMI cable from your monitor to this device and obviously your keyboard, mouse and whatever devices you want to plug into here. So it's really nice and simple with this one and it provides very little clutter on your desk. Now I'm going to quickly plug all this in and actually show it working and show you how easy it is switching between devices. So I've set my desk up with my monitor, my keyboard and mouse to one side, and I'm going to plug in my KVM switch. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the power in for both the USB powered device and the actual KVM's power itself. I'm going to plug my HDMI cable from my monitor straight into the device itself. And I'm going to plug in my three USB-C cables, making sure that my USB-C one, which is the powered one, I plug straight into my Steam Deck. Now I'm using wireless peripherals for my keyboard, my mouse and my headset so I'm plugging all my little dongles straight into this device which makes things very easy because I have no keyboard cable clutter. And then once that's done, push it back in under my monitor riser stand. This is nice because it means that I can easily access the KVM switch but you can't see any of those cables. And then lastly, I'm going to plug my USB-C cables into my Surface Pro and my MacBook Pro and we're up and running. 
Obviously the last thing left to do is once you've actually put all these cables in and turned it all on is to go into each individual machine and set up the monitors how you like them. Right, so we're all set up, very easy, very straightforward. And I've got my three USB-C devices plugged in. Now, I usually video edit on my MacBook because uh, I use Final Cut Pro still and these Macs are great for video editing. I do most of my script writing and when I'm testing machines, I'm using my Surface Pro 8. So those are the two machines I mostly use for work. And at the moment, I'm testing a Steam Deck for some future content. So I'm plugging that in just over here so I can have a play with that in a minute. Now I can either use the remote control, so at the moment I'm on my Surface. So now I'm going to switch to my Mac, which is on 2. So press the 2, we're straight in back onto my Mac. When I go back to the Surface Pro, we go back to number 3. Or I want to use my Steam Deck, which is using my powered USB-C, because I wanted to actually power that through this T-Smart. And as you can see here, I've got my Steam Deck on and I can either use the Steam Deck's controller and just use it as a controller in my hands, but with the Steam Deck, you can use a keyboard and mouse as well. So in a minute, I'm gonna have a bit of Dota when it's finally updated the patch. Slow UK internet. But as you can see, all three work absolutely perfectly and it's so incredibly easy just to flick to the actual screen that I want. Now, obviously when I flick to the relevant screen, I'm using it at the moment, you can duplicate it, but I'm using it extended. So I've got my original screens on that I can still use as a secondary display. And I've obviously got the main display, my 4K LG panel here. Now, because I've got a lot on my desk, I've, I've used a compact keyboard and a wireless mouse, keyboard's wireless as well, just to minimize clutter. I've also got my wireless headset and that was plugged into that third USB port on the back of the KVM. Make it a very seamless and clutter-free experience. To be able to have all this on my desk and control it with this one mouse and keyboard is absolutely amazing. And it's so easy to flip between them. It's, I just can't believe how much simpler it is than before when I'm like constantly either behind the back of the monitor, trying to get the right display input, or constantly plugging things in and out. This is amazing. Now obviously I've been using the remote control. You don't have to use the remote. You can also use the button on the KVM itself to switch between them which is very straightforward. It just cycles through the devices that you've got plugged in. And we also have another option where you can use the keyboard to actually switch between all of these devices. Now it does come with a manual. There's not a great deal of information in here. You don't really need a lot for this. It's very straightforward. It's obviously telling you about all your ports, everything that's plugged in. But what it is particularly useful is the hotkey shortcuts to switch between the displays. And it tells you, you know, the different options. Now you've got scroll lock and scroll lock, and then you press your number one to three is by your default. Now, the problem I've got, I have a tiny keyboard and the scroll lock is on a function key. So there's another option where if you prefer, you can reset it to use the actual right control key rather than your scroll lock. So if you, so if you don't have a scroll lock on your keyboard, you don't have to panic, you switch it over and start using the control instead. Now the advantage on the keyboard as well, it's very easy to do your combination and then the relevant number for your display. And again, you can also use different commands to cycle through them or forward and rear commands for the display. So if you're going backward and forward continually, really handy. You don't even have to then move your hands far away from your keyboard. But me personally, I absolutely love using the remote control. I uh, just press the number and it's just so handy to be able to flick right to the one that I want. So we can see that switching between all the three displays is incredibly seamless and very quick to switch between them. That's great. What I also want to talk about is the gaming experience that I had using my Steam Deck through this switch as well. Now, whether it's a Steam Deck or a gaming PC, the gaming experience was absolutely flawless. And I didn't even realize that I was actually putting the signal through this KVM. It felt like it was native to the monitor and it felt fluid and responsive throughout all my gameplay testing. And on the Steam Deck, not only could I play World of Tanks with the actual Steam controller whilst it was plugged in, but I could also use the keyboard and mouse when I was playing Dota, which obviously is a better experience on the keyboard and mouse than it is actually on the actual Steam Deck controller itself. But it is great being able to play some games on this device and then with one flick of a button, switch over and do some work or vice versa. So all in all, I think this is a great device for anybody that's got multiple computers or laptops or iPads even, that you're trying to put it all on one desk with one display. This really does remove all of that clutter and it's very seamless switching between them. And it's a very handy device. Now, as I mentioned earlier, T-Smart have multiple different KVMs. So if this one doesn't quite suit your needs, they have many other models available with different inputs and outputs to suit any requirement. 
Now we're gonna put a link to the website in our description down below. We also have a discount code, MASHIT. We're gonna put that in the link description below. So if you click through to the website and buy with our discount code, not only do you get a discount, but we do also get a very small kickback which helps us keep this channel going. And I also wanted to mention that in early October, T-Smart are holding a members promotional day. And during that time, they're gonna be having promotional prices on a lot of their products, including extended warranties in certain countries. And I also noticed that with our discount code, they actually stack with that promotional code. So please make sure you take advantage of that if you want one of these devices. So as usual, any question, pop it in the comment section down below. I will get back to you and thank you for watching.